So everyone, while I got your attention, and I just did the banana, uh, transplant my bananas, so I just do a quick update. Um, I want to show you guys the tomatoes that I, the cuttings I have that are here in my water heater room. They're doing really good. They're happy. How's the water level? Water level is good. I'm checking out every few days. Uh, this is the Paul Robson. I mean, I'm sorry, the Black Sea. No roots yet, but it's not wilty. You know, it's pretty sturdy. It's holding itself. Uh, let's see how one of these guys in the back. A little wilty. Got a little bit of unhappiness right there. Hope it does well. Hope it pulls together. This is a very small cutting. The larger ones seem to have done a lot better. They're holding their own weight. They're not wilting. So. It's pretty good. All right, so that's those. And once the roots start to actually develop, once I have some good roots on it, I'm going to put them in these um, neti pots, some hydrogen. Make some Dutch buckets. Get my greenhouse up, my hoop house up. And get those in there, Dutch setup. Dutch bucket set up. <clears throat> and I finally decided what I'm going to do with this plot here. I'm going to get all this stuff out of here. I'm actually going to plant um, chilies and peppers and jalapenos and uh, bell peppers. You know, that kind of stuff. This pot, I'm going to do the fountain in the back. Cherry tree is going to go in the back. This, I'm going to clean it out <clears throat> and do something else with it. So, there's the black sea I can see a sucker from right here way back there so I'm gonna take that off look there's another sucker right there that big that big sucker come on since I'm standing here go ahead and get this inside the cage stay in your cage I'm trying to be a little escapee huh jailbird <laughs> Smells so good. I love touching my tomatoes. Smelling my hands. Mm. Um, got a lot of radishes coming in. I got some more suckers. Trying to get out of their cage. <laughs> All right, those are doing good. <clears throat> Cherokee purple. Uh, Paul Robson. I'm stepping on my green onions. Sorry, buddy. Get you some water since I just stepped on you. Uh, grapes are doing well. So this is going to be my next year fruiting cane. And these are going to be my this year fruiting canes. Roses, 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 roses. Oh, so this is where I used to hang out. And um, found these chairs on Craigslist for a hundred bucks, including the table. I went in and sanded it, <coughs> sand them down, and um, treated them. Finished them with tongue oil. Uh, three coats. So these are now waterproof. And uh, I'll go over it uh, once every few years and spruce them up again. Uh, bought some herbs. I don't do herbs very well from seed. They don't do good for me. My Jim Bean Jalapeno Sunflower Seeds. These are the best sunflower seeds. On this brass ship I got from a World War II veteran. He passed away and he was in the Navy and he loved this thing. It's actually by a pretty famous artist. This thing goes for 2200 bucks. I wonder he liked it so much. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't pay 2200 bucks for it, though. <clears throat> All right. So with the leftover soil and feed, just went ahead and gave it to the peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water out here. Yeah, that bell peppers. That's doing really well. These are happy. 
And I got some bug damage. What kind of bugs? Oh, there it is. That's an aphid. That's not doing it. That's not the damage. Must be a cut worm. My rule of thumb, if the plant growth is outpacing the amount of damage, I don't mess with it. I don't spray it. It's alright. I need to get a cage for this guy right here. Badly. Which one is that? It's the black... Black print. Kale is coming in nice and thick. Happy with this. Looks great. The cress is coming in nicely. Happy with that. And the rutabaga, real thick. Excellent. Arugula. I hate this stuff. Girlfriend loves it, so I grow it for her to eat. Chard. Green onions. I don't know what's up with my beets this year. I usually grow beets like no one's business. Man. These cats. So destructive. <clears throat> Smells like cat pee. So I went ahead and planted some corn and I fed this to trifecta. <clears throat> so I dug a little hole, tossed some trifecta in there, put the uh, corn in there, and there you go. Um, so this is 18, 6, 12, 18, 18 yellow corn. The tricolor zucchini, beans, or peas, um, another uh, crook neck squash, um, Romano bean, uh, oh, finally, scallop squash, uh, Kentucky blue pole bean, no scallop squash. I might actually take this one out and do it, get a different variety or something else. Maybe I'll do another try color. <coughs> so you long cucumbers. Nice and nice look really happy. Uh, the watermelon. Let's see, I planted six seeds. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I must plant it seven seeds because there's seven plants. And I like to just take these little you know, the seed pods off. Well, they can open their leaves up. The pumpkin is doing good. It's going to plant it six seeds, supposedly. So there's one, two, there's six in there. Yep, so all six germinated. Uh, artichoke Doing pretty good. A couple of these branches fell down. I don't know why. I just rip them off. And there you go. It's good compost. Goes right into the compost heap. And some beans right there. Planted only one bean per inch. So I'm guessing those are probably pinto beans from last year. Volunteers. It's fine. I'll just leave it. Get a couple more pinto beans. And yeah, so I have more corn. I gotta figure out where. Where to stick it? Um, I haven't showed an update on these. These are the um, yard long beans, artichoke beans. I got some deweeding. Look at all that grass. I thought they were all tomatoes at first. When they first sprouted, it kind of looked like tomatoes sprouts, but no, it's grass. That's a cool rock. Look at that. I don't know where that came from. Also gave some of the feed to the bay leaf tree. And I was amazed. I came in here and started digging around. There's tons of earthworms in there. I don't know if you can see the soil wiggling around a bunch. There you go. There's some worms. There's tons of worms in here. I didn't put them in here though. They just 
found their space. So that's awesome. I was just talking about going fishing today. But instead, I gotta go to the dentist. And that's why I'm so hungry. I couldn't eat dinner last night. I broke my tooth. Chipped my tooth right before dinner. Eating a sucker. Watermelon sucker. Damn it. Really annoying. So now I'm starving because I couldn't finish my meal. I couldn't finish dinner. Alright. So these are the pipes right here. Kind of like. <laughs> no, they're not pipe bombs. They're feed bombs. So this one actually is. Oh, I have something called a, hy a Hyponex. It's a general feed. It's a 16, 16, 16. Then we got the Job's tomato feed in here, 274. Uh, blood mill 1200 and trifecta 101312. So, this is the mega bomb right here. Uh, what else? What other combinations I do? Job's tomato feed 274, blood mill, and trifecta. I'll add up the MPKs for you guys later. This is just pure trifecta. This is pure Hyponex, Hyponex, 16, 16, 16. And the Job's Tomato, 274, and Blood Mill, 1200. I need one more, but I'm off to the nursery. Something I can do other than going into the dentist. Get another brand, another variety. All right, that's my update. Peace.